Hello, Internet. I am Tormazimnus, and welcome to my reaction video for Ruby, Volume 5, Chapter 13, Downfall. With a title like that, I can only assume that after last episode's hype, things are going to get real, 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 wow. Things are, things are just going to, like, probably take another massive turn. It's like... If things go the way I think they're going to go just from the title, there's going to be another layer to emotional whiplash where everything's doom and gloom, Weiss is going to die. Oh no, she's not going to die. And now Raven's a spring maiden and she's about to kick some serious butt. And then, oh no, now something else bad is going to happen. So if you watch it back to back, bad. Hype. Bad. And it's just uh, the emotional whiplash that will cause people, I can only imagine. <clears throat> Before I get into the usual pre-episode review slash uh, preamble slash um, whatever the hey, uh, just like to say one thing right quick, and that is for those of you who return to my YouTube channel to watch these videos, <clears throat> if you notice that there are times where it seems it's uploaded on Saturday and times where it's not uploaded until Monday, I would just like to clarify that I do upload these every Saturday as close to when the official video releases on the Rooster Teeth YouTube channel as I can. The problem isn't that they don't get uploaded, it's that... Because of people having abused Rooster Teeth's, um, you know, uh, forgiving stance on things like reaction videos and fan creations and things like that. Because of people insisting on uploading things before they've been uploaded by Rooster Teeth themselves, they've had to take a very harsh stance against certain parts of that, and they can't do that without accidentally um, blocking videos that they'd otherwise be okay with. So what they do is they have the system in place where we, the content creators who are following the rules, playing nice, not causing trouble, get in contact with them and let them know when one of our videos that doesn't violate uh, the things they want kept to gets blocked, and then they'll get around to unblocking it. <clears throat> Unfortunately, since Ruby gets uploaded on Saturday, and since there's probably no one in the office on Saturday, or Sunday for that matter, that means that more often than not, if my YouTube video gets blocked on Saturday, it is not going to get unblocked until Monday, after it's been 48 or more hours after I've uploaded it. And this isn't to be mean or spiteful on their part, uh, far from it. It's just that there's no one there to take care of unblocking the videos in a timely fashion. And hey, everyone likes being able to have the weekend free, right? So, <clears throat> yeah, that's, that's something we just have to deal with from time to time. Even the bigger channels that do reaction videos on Ruby and other Rooster Teeth content still have to deal with this. So... It's just something we have to accept and move on and just deal with it as gracefully as we can. And hopefully most of our videos won't end up getting, you know, that kind of block that happens. For the ones that do, we'll just have to deal with what is until they can get unblocked. And then once they're unblocked, they're perfectly viewable, which is quite nice. <coughs> Anywho... Last time on Ruby. Holy crap, so much happened. Raven's the Spring Maiden? That's still... <laughs> My favorite part of this episode, if they show it, is going to be her fighting Cinder. And I could not wait to see who wins that one. I'm seriously hoping <clears throat> that Raven wins the fight. Because we've already lost one Maiden. Losing another would be bad. But given that this says downfall, this means one of three things. One, the Spring Maiden, Raven, dies. Two, 
The Relic is lost to Team Witch. Three, Haven Academy falls because of all of the explosions and the CCT towers go down. And <clears throat> this, it could be any one of these three things. It could be a combination of these three things. And then, of course, there's the fact that Jean is still healing Weiss, so she's still down and out. There's not much she can do. And Hazel is going on a rampage. And if anyone gets between him and Oscar slash Ozpin, then they are going to suffer his wrath. And holy freaking crap, Ren's going in there to help out. I wouldn't be surprised if Nora gets in there at some point because she has a lightning semblance and she should hopefully be able to absorb some of that. But oh my gosh, this is... This is just going to be massive. Oh, and Ruby and Yang are going up against uh, Mercury and Emerald. So, yeah, that's... Ooh. And Ruby being angry. I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens. So, maybe instead of talking about it, let's just get right to it and start recording this episode in... Rather, not recording this episode. Start the... Thing in three, two, one, now. And we immediately start off with Ruby and Yang going head-to-head uh -oh. -head with Emerald and Mercury. And, oh, she learned that from Ospin! Oh, yeah, you go, girl. I, I think so. She's Looks like too. Weiss is about to wake up. I just wish this would go awesome. Faster. How about you don't complain and just be thankful you unlocked your semblance when you did? My semblance? How else do you think you're healing well, her, duh. And now it sinks in! He was so worried about Weiss, he didn't even stop to think about the fact no, that that's his semblance at work. I don't think I'm healing her. Our aura heals her bodies. It feels so, if you're not healing her, then what are you doing? It feels more like I'm using my aura to amplify hers. Wait. Dude! Aura sure amplification. That's Kira it. Told me I've got a lot of Dude. Yes. <clears throat> so his aura is aura amplification, not healing. That makes so much more sense than being a tank that's also a healer. Whoa! Oh my gosh, Ren. Yep, this is where Nora steps in. What's happening? You took a heavy hit. You need to stay with me while the others fight. That's okay. Annoying. <laughs> of course, it's annoying for you. Have you back, Weiss. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor crow. He just can't get a break. Oh, there goes Ozpin. Oh my gosh, dude! Do you ever shut up? Damn it, Nora! Oh crap! Must die for you. Holy crap! Go, Nora! Yes! Oh, His you fucked symbols. up. He can block out pain. It's how he's able to handle injecting so much dust into his body. Oh shoot! Okay, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> So his semblance is being able to block pain. I just need him to go down! Oh shit! I think he flipped a switch in Nora. Oh! Oh, What's you fucked up, there? Hazel. You fucked up big time. Uh oh. <laughs> Now he's adding fire to the mix. Uh-oh. They seriously need to get away from that guy. Oh, Crow's down for the count. Stay focused. Just Our about everyone's at their here. limits. Adam! Blake! Blake? Yes, they're here! It's about time. Wait. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this. <laughs> to think this that is I going to be interesting. So much trouble to find you. 
Only to have you <coughs> deliver yourself to me. Oh, it's not this that isn't simple. This right for the Faunus. Stop what you're doing and we can end this peacefully. He's you're not going wrong, to listen. Blake. You know that. And you can't stop us. No, I oh, can't. Oh, yeah? Not by myself. That's why she didn't come alone. And that is why she brought an army. What? Who's there? Oh, brothers and sisters. M Mata? Please stop this. Okay, this is going to be awesome. Make no mistake, brothers. These are our enemies. And we will not let them ruin! Uh, yeah, you guys are done. Adam I wonder who's at the helm of that check. This is the Mistral Police Force. Uh, uh, they got the police involved. Okay. Okay, this is the part where the baddies start to run, I think. Except for the really stupid ones. <sighs> Thank goodness. Sure. How are you feeling? Better. Much better. All right, then go get him, girl. <laughs> How? How did you do this, Adam? Um, it's that's over. pretty obvious. She just went for help, and people were actually willing to listen. Although it took some time. And it's Took over a bit for of all time. of us. Hey, wait! Huh? Nope, that's not happening. What are you doing? Trying to get us all killed? Uh, I am making humanity pay for what they've done! Oh, we yeah? Someone over to confirm your explosives. And who else has and to pay for it, And once we huh? did, she disarmed them. Okay, and that one was... Ilya! All right, you go, girl! What do we do? This is your business, not mine. <laughs> I told yeah, he's you, getting Adam, no help from Hazel. It's over. Is he ah. going to accept that, though? Nope. Not that easy. Now. Take your medicine like a good little boy, Adam. So, what did Kill I ask them to do? Yeah, that figures. They're still blinded by whatever drew them to Adam, so they're going to keep fighting. And they really shouldn't be. What? Oh, dude, what? Yes! It's the Queen Lancer! Oh, hell freaking yes! You go get them, Weiss! <laughs> and that's Blake. Awesome! The whole team is there! Leave her arm behind. <laughs> you can't stop her when she's got a disarmable attachment. <laughs> oh, this is so awesome. So Blake and her Tomorrow forces are going to handle things outside, and then Yang. The spring maiden must have trusted Ooh. you a great deal before she died. I bet that was a mistake. Oh, you need to learn when to shut up, Cinder. Oh, lots and lots of sword play. Aura can't protect your arm. It's grim. Ha. Quite true. You turned yourself into a monster just for power. Uh, she was a monster to begin with. Look who's talking. 
I wouldn't be so quick to assume what Raven's story is. There is still so much we don't know about her. And Cinder, she is not one to talk. Ghoul wielding. Holy crap. We haven't seen this kind of sword play in a long time. Oh. Oh my gosh. They're really letting loose with their magic. Whoa. Hello, Basamune! Damn. So the downfall's probably more the fall of the Spring Maiden's fault. Structural integrity won't hold if it keeps being abused like this. Oh no, 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 Ha! Interrupted power transfer And crushed. Get her, Raven! Except she's just going to fly up there to face her. Oh my gosh! Dude, this fight scene is nothing short of epic. Actually, this kind of reminds me of some stuff that I heard about some of the final bosses in Bayonetta. Also reminds me of when you're facing off against Ridley in one of the Metroid games. I think it was Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. Either that or Metroid Upper M. I forget which. No, it's definitely Prime 3 Corruption. And Cinder's semblance is giving out. But so Not is Raven's. Yet. Shut up! If you were stronger or more clever, then maybe you'd remember to watch your back. Yeah, she really should at that. All right! To the face, Alice! Always to the face! Oh, hey, a brief look at what lays under the mask. So... Does that mean that Cinder falls? Ha! Ah. Well, damn. I guess this was really Cinder's downfall. Does that mean the power of the Fall Maiden will transfer to someone else? Holy crap. Thank you, Vernal. And so Vernal really wasn't dead. I'm glad to see that she was still alive. At least for a little while longer. But damn. Now it seems like she really is dead. That sucks. <clears throat> then again, I probably shouldn't assume so quickly that Cinder is dead and gone. Because she does have the powers of the Fall Maiden. So she could just thaw through the ice. I mean... Fire does seem to be the thing she's most strongly attuned with. Yeah, and now that the door is opening, Cinder's probably going to show up and just stab Raven in the back and take all of her power. Yep. Yeah, that's about how I thought it would work, with the petals drawing back like that. Makes perfect sense. Holy crap, that leads to the middle of the desert? Dude, is that in vacuo? Holy crap, dude. That is amazing. <coughs> Raven, watch your back. Oh, oh, it's just Yang. Well, now she's going to know that her mom's the Spring Maiden. Oh, that's where they're leaving it? Oh, that is such a tease. I think that also... 
Oh. I get the feeling that Yang is going to face off against Raven to keep her from taking the relic. And I'm still not entirely convinced that Cinder is gone. Yes, we saw her fall. Yes, we saw her get frozen, but fire is the attribute that she has the strongest affinity with, and if she still has any amount of the Spring Maiden's... Sorry, the Fall Maiden's powers left in her that she can still access, then she'd be able to break out of that. So, yeah, that was... That was amazing. Just holy freaking crap. That clash between Raven and Cinder. I, mean, I had trouble just thinking of how to respond to all of that just because of the sheer amount of epicness that was just like right in my face. It's, and what can you say when you're seeing something as awesome as that? I mean, they are going toe to toe flinging their magic at each other, swapping weapons mid-combat to try and gain an edge. It's like, oh, you disarmed me of my weapon. I'm gonna take your weapon that I just disarmed you of. Oh yeah, well I'm taking your weapon back. Ha! You still ain't got me. Holy balls, dude. This is amazing and I love it. Honestly, though, you know, for one, I'm glad to see that I was right about the fact that Haven was not falling. Thankfully, because of Blake being able to convince Ilya to turn away from the White Fang that's being led by Adam, that allowed for them to be able to find and destroy all of the bombs, and since it was night time out, no one was going to see Ilya going across the landscape because of her abilities as a chameleon faunus, which was amazing. <clears throat> Honestly, though, Hazel's still not down, and Adam, while having been made unconscious, the forces he brought with him, they're still fighting. I hope they can be brought around to, you know, you know, brought away from the cult of personality that Adam's drowning them with because that is just not cool. Man. There's so... There are so many ways things could go from here. <clears throat> Other than just a bit with Cinder, now that Gira and, and just the Belladonna family as a whole is back on the forefront of dealing with things relating to the White Fang, now it seems like there's going to be an internal power struggle between Adam's followers and those who were faithful to Gira and then after Gira, Sienna Khan. <clears throat> Meanwhile, Hazel's still going on a rampage and honestly, either he gets recalled or he just ends up dying here and now. Or he pulls himself back so that he won't die before he's able to exact revenge by his own hand. Because there's always a difference <clears throat> between someone dying that you wanted to die and killing that person yourself. If, if someone dies and they just reincarnate and you didn't get to kill them yourself you're probably just not going to be satisfied. In fact, you probably wouldn't be satisfied at all, even if their death happened, regardless of it not being by your hand. I don't know, something about being driven by the thirst for vengeance. So, as far as next episode's concerned, one of two things is going to happen. Either <coughs> Yang and Raven are going to have a talk, and then Raven's going to leave with the relic, or... Yang is going to fight Raven and try to keep her from taking the relic. Either way, this could be the opportunity to actually learn something about the relics that are being guarded. And we've seen that the relics aren't that big. It was just sitting there on a pedestal in the middle of the desert in what looks like vacuo. So that in and of itself... I 
if that's actually how it is, then that would actually... Yeah. Yeah, that would... Hmm. Because the vault <coughs> is in the same area that the maiden for that area is in. <coughs> but the actual item that the door of the vault leads to would be in a completely different area. So that if, if that actually is in the middle of Vacuo, that would be amazing. Because... Damn. That would take a lot of power to just connect those two points. Just, just they're so far apart. Mistral's here, and Vacuo is here. Vale is here, and Atlas is here. So that's just like, dang. It feels like it's connecting far points of the world and everything meets in the center. Ooh. Ooh, that that could be some interesting theory fuel right there about how the relics maintain balance. <clears throat> or... The relics could be used to access a greater power. Now, that would be something. If the, if the relics were a key to a greater power, and then the maidens were the keys to the relics, that would make them keys for other keys. <laughs> Layers of convoluted stuff. I don't know. Well, <clears throat> I guess that'll be it for this episode. As always, if you enjoyed watching, please be sure to like and leave a comment, subscribe for more, ring the bell to join the notification squad so you'll be notified anytime I upload something new. And until next time, this is Tormazemnis signing off. Stay frosty, my friends.